everybody it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween because I'm uploading this video on Halloween so happy Halloween I've got my little witch earrings in I got it Charm and Charlie and I have on an orange sweater for the occasion so here we go today we're going to go over yes I bought it I knew I would the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions I'm not gonna buy the sapphire I promise I know I'm not gonna buy the topaz I'm done buying these Huda palettes, but I love Huda eyeshadows. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. Let's turn the mirror down that way. There are the shades. I can't wait to play with them. I thought what we would do first is I would do an eye look, then we will swatch them, okay? So, uh, first off, looking at this palette, there is a, a light very shimmery uh, green in there. Got a little dirt on there. Like, I don't know what that was. Anyway, there is that light shimmery green in there. I don't like that for a base. And then there is this matte green, which is looking lighter through my viewfinder than it is in person. It's like a shamrock kind of green. I don't know. It goes on kind of light, but not light enough for me for a base. So I'm going to start with uh, my setting powder. I use the Too Faced Peach Perfect. I'm going to get some of that. I need to get some out. Get some of that on my brush and just set my uh, primer. I've already put my primer on. Let me grab a brush. I'm just going to grab my big fluffy blending brush. And stick it down in there. All right, now I'm going to switch brushes. Now, with this little bit of a smaller, fluffier brush, I'm going to go into uh, my transition. And I think for my transition, I am going to use this green right here. The one that, it's a matte, and it's like a called it a shamrock green. I think it's a little, maybe a little lighter than a shamrock green. Yeah, it comes on lighter than it really looks in the pan. Alright, there we go. Do I like it so far? No, <laughs> but hopefully it's going to get better. Now, I am going to get my favorite Beauty Big Bang brush that I like for my crease. And I am going into what I would call this army green down here. It is also a matte. I'm going to go into that and I'm going to work it into my crease. Okay. I think I need some more work. And I'm sorry for my hair. I did wash it today and I'm letting it air dry. Uh, I'm not trying to... I'm still healing uh, from my biopsies. They're uh, still a bit sore. I can lift my arm, but I am not like lifting anything heavy. And I'm definitely not keeping it up for, you know, an extended amount of time. I am moving it around, but... It does start hurting a little more than I like if I keep my hand up. So I'm just letting my hair dry naturally. Um, all right. On my lid. Okay, I'm going to... We're going to be using a lot of colors, I think, today. I'm going to go with this shimmer. Like, it's almost a chartreuse. I'd say it's closer to a chartreuse. I'm going to put it on my lid. Oh, yeah. I am going to take it like a little more than halfway over. I'm not putting it all the way to the end because I'm going to put a different color on. But I do want the colors to blend real nicely. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm going to clean out the brush I used for my um, in my crease, and I am going to go in with this like really true green. It looks Kelly green in my viewfinder, but it's a deeper shade than a Kelly green in in my the way I see it here. I'm gonna put it on my outer V and work it into the crease. And then I'm going to take my blender. Actually, no, I'm going to take this brush and blend it. All right. I wish I had a really dark green that wasn't an like an army green. I wish I had a a little darker green than that to put in my crease. I think I'm gonna go back in. Let me wipe out my crease brush. And I'm gonna go back in with that army green. I don't know if I can really deepen it with this army green though. Maybe a bit. And I'm just doing the crease, not the outer V. Hmm. I'm going to wipe that brush out. I'm going to go with this dark shimmer this dark green and see how that works if I put it in my crease. I usually don't add shimmer to my crease. I think this one will be okay. Yeah, now this is the dark I need, so this helps. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. Can you see? You can see. There, I think that looks better. And you know what? It's not bad. I don't mind the the um, shimmer in my uh, in my crease, and it's really not that shimmery. It's really not that shimmery. So I uh, like that. Now. I'm going to try out this middle shade, which is a glitter, definitely. I'm going to use my finger, and I'm going to pop it right on top. Yep, see the glitter? Definitely a glitter. It's pretty. That's pretty. I like that. I should have got a wipe. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I'm going to go with this glitter up here, and I'm going to put that on my lid. Yep, it's definitely glitter. Yeah, that's how I like it. I love glitter. All right, now I got to go under my eye and do some colors. Okay, for under my eye, I am going to start with this like army green with my detail brush. And I am going to brush that underneath. And I do want it a little smoky under here. 
today. And I'm going to wipe that out just a little bit and I'm going to go in with this matte green and work that in there. I started in the middle and then just kind of work it out to the edges. I'm going to go in with this glitter or this shimmer like chartreuse and I'm going to put that in the corner here and up under the eye. Okay, there we go. That is my look with the uh, Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions eyeshadow palette. What do you think? Not my favorite, I'm going to tell you. I went ahead and put uh, Huda Beauty's Demi Matte Lipstick in uh, Shika. Shika. That's on my lips. Uh, but yeah, I like the greens. I love the greens. The complete green eye look is not really me. Um, I mean, I would go all green maybe for Valen uh, not Valentine's Day, uh, St. Patrick's Day. But um, the main reason I bought these palettes were for the colors, and I already knew I wanted to use them with other palettes, like some neutral palettes I have that I could add pops of color from these palettes. I did not purchase these cat palettes to do complete eye looks, although I really loved the purple one, and I thought the red one looked really good, too. The green one, it's pretty. It's pretty. I like it. It's just not my favorite, but green is not my favorite color either. Um, but I do like it, though. It it turned out really pretty. It turned out pretty. So of the three, this is my least favorite. They all pour, uh, perform just as well, but just color-wise. This one's my least favorite. This one I could not do a complete eye look with. I needed a, kind of some sort of base shade. But let's go ahead and swatch these. Um, I'm just going to go across each row. We'll do them like that. So, and none of them have names. We'll just put them right here. So, the top row, we've got this pretty glitter. This matte. It's um, like a, I guess maybe a mint green. And then this one I didn't try at all yet. It's a beautiful shimmer. That's a beautiful shimmer. So let's put those three on. Next row, the dark shimmer I put in my crease to finally darken it, and it looks nice. It looks nice. Then the middle is the uh, glitter. It's almost a, a blue, blue green glitter. And then the matte true green here. That's a true green. There we go. That matte didn't um, didn't swatch very well, but it, it goes on nice on the eyes. And then last row is what I call the army green, which is a matte. And then a, like a shimmer army green, which is really pretty. I haven't touched this one yet. And then the one I called like a chartreuse shimmer. And there we go. So that is the shades. Let me tone this down a little bit and see if that helps. I don't know if it does or not. But there we go. That is that is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumb thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you do subscribe, leave me a little message down below so I can welcome you personally. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.